Hi, be Rad here, and I'm here at the Hamilton Game Swap. I'm about to go in and find out what's uh, what's inside, and uh, hopefully we find some cool stuff. I just want this gun. It's the biggest thing. Yeah. You need a PS2, man? It's, it's charming. It's weird, but it's charming. Hearing the Final Fantasy VII music in 8-bit on a Nintendo is pretty cool. Yeah, these are neat too if you ever get a chance to play them. The, uh... It's so good too because it fires right up. You don't gotta like do the little jiggle thing or... Some of the pins on... Okay, I'm back from the Hamilton Game Swap. Um, I like going out to that one. Um, they haven't had it in a few years, uh, obviously because of the COVID-19. But uh, it's always close to home, so I like going there. It's always a bit been a, one of the smaller ones that I've been to. But it doesn't mean you can't find some good stuff. And I hope they do another one. Um, anyway, I got some pickups. I didn't get a lot of pickups. Uh, but I'll show you what I got anyway. Okay, uh, first I got Alien 3 for SNES. I rented this as a kid. I wasn't able to get too far into it. Um, I just remember it being similar to like kind of like a Metroid game where you're going back and forth and every time you find an item you can kind of get past areas that were locked off to you before. So I'm looking forward to trying it now just uh, 
because I, I have more patience than I did as a kid. Okay, and I also got uh, Super Bomberman R, and I've never played this specific version, but uh, I like the Bomberman games a lot. I used to play the one for Super Nintendo a lot, and um, I, I loved it. And uh, so I got one for Switch, that way I can uh, play some Bomberman with some friends. Okay, uh, I honestly only got the two pickups from the Hamilton Game Swap, but I have some more pickups that I've just been kind of sitting on and been waiting to show you guys. So uh, I'll do that now since I only got a couple when I was out in Hamilton. Okay, uh, first of all, I got Castlevania Circle of the Moon for Game Boy Advance. I have played this before, I never finished it. Um, it was one of the first Game Boy Advance games I ever had, but I ended up trading it in, and I wish I never did that. Uh, but I ended up finding another one, so I have a copy again. Okay, next I have uh, Road Rash for Genesis, the original one. It's just a cart, but uh, I, I've never actually played this. I've played Road Rash 2 and 3 and uh, the 3DO one, and I, I liked all those ones, but I've never played the first Road Rash, so I ended up getting a copy of that. Okay, next I have Mega Man 64, and uh, this one I've actually never played as well. Uh, I like the Mega Man games. I like most Mega Man games I've played, and I've been trying to collect as many as possible, so now i got Mega Man 64 to try. Okay, uh, this is one I used to play as a kid uh, with a friend of mine, Strider, and he was much better at it than me, but now I have a copy of my own, so uh, let's see if we can give this a shot. Okay, uh, next I have Journey to Silius, and uh, this game, it was originally supposed to be a Terminator uh, game, a video game for NES, but I, I don't know what happened, I, I don't know if they lost the licensing or what happened, but they ended up having to take the game and salvage what they could, and they ended up making this game called Journey to Silius, and you can still see uh, things about it that remind you of Terminator, so I'm looking forward to trying this one out. All right, next I have Life Force. This is like a side-scrolling uh, shoot 'em up, and uh, I just love those types of games. So uh, I'm glad I got this. I can't, I'm not sure if it's two players or not. I, they're a lot of fun when they're two players, but um, either way, it kind of reminded me of something kind of like our type, and uh, I'm looking forward to checking it out. Okay, uh, next I have uh, the Castlevania Collection, and. Uh, I like Castlevania games. Uh, I have most of the ones that are on this. The reason why I ended up getting it was because it has Castlevania Bloodlines, which is getting really expensive right now. So now I can play it. I have a physical copy here, not the Sega Genesis one, but it's uh, still I can still play Bloodlines, like I was saying. So I'm excited to have this. Okay, uh, next um, is a game I got uh, from Game Haven in Burlington. I just thought I'd show you guys this. Uh, this is an Angry Video Game Nerd Deluxe 1 and 2, and I have played this digitally before, but they came out with a physical copy, so I ended up picking one up. Um, I wanted to order one from Limited Run, but they had them for sale for like 24 hours or something like that, and I missed out on it. So uh, they ended up having a, a copy at Game Haven, so I went and picked it up. Okay, next I got Yoshi's New Island, and uh, this is cool. This isn't just... Um, like a port of uh, Yoshi's Island. Uh, this is actually a new adventure, so I'm looking forward to trying that out because I used to like the one on Super Nintendo. I thought the graphics were pretty amazing for that. I, I like the traditional Mario games with the running and jumping uh, uh, a little better, but I did think that was fun for Super Nintendo. So uh, hopefully this one's cool too. Okay, and the last thing I have is Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. I love the first one, but I've never actually played the second one. Um, I've heard it's pretty good. I've also heard that the game, uh, you can tell it's not finished or something like that. Like they rushed, they rushed the game. So I don't know exactly what's going to happen. I'll have to play it for myself. But I did pick up a copy, and I'm glad to have that. I also got this to go with it. I got a Knights of the Old Republic uh, strategy guide. It's sealed. It even comes with a strategy DVD in there. So uh, that was pretty cool. I got them as a bundle. I got it really cheap. And... Uh, I'm looking forward to trying that one day. We'll see if how, how soon I get around to it because I've got such a backlog of games. Uh, okay, that's what I got. Uh, what do you think? You know, uh, Hamilton Game Swap was all right. I've seen uh, some familiar faces there. I've seen some new people that I've never met before. Anyway, I hope they do another one. Uh, so thumbs up to that. 
And uh, what do you guys think of the pickups? Anything here that you think maybe I should try first, something you recommend, or maybe if you were at the Hamilton Game Swap, then uh, maybe you can uh, mention what you ended up picking up. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.